Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Maybox Linux. It's based on Manjaro, it's a rolling release, and it comes with the open box desktop environment. But before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Maybox Linux. As you can see, you download it, put it on a USB, or throw it in a virtual box. This is the desktop you're met with. When you boot up, and you've got a couple conkeys right here open, up to your top right, it gives you CPU information, and it gives you your RAM information. This is what's really impressive, is I got two gigabytes of RAM issued to this machine. At rest, right now, the way you see it, we're using 237 megabytes of RAM at rest. That is beyond impressive. So it's very lightweight on your resources. And CPU, you're using about 14, 15% of the two CPUs I have issued to it. Up right here, you've got the power button. You've got date and time. You've got your internet connection. You have battery status. And then right here, you have, okay, that would be your desktop. You can switch back and forth. Okay, so I'm on desktop one, desktop two. Okay, and I'm doing that with the mouse scroll. Desktop one is here. Desktop 2 is here. Let's say we open terminal. Let's see if they have HTOP out of the box. They do have HTOP, and it kind of gives you a rundown of what we were just looking at up in the top right. But our memory on HTOP is showing that we're using 406 megabytes of the two gigs that I have issued. But at the same time, 400 megabytes is lightweight. And if you're looking for something, you can throw in a machine and just have it fly, and you get your work done. This is definitely something to look at. So I'm going to close out of that. Let's right click. What do we get here? You get everything because it is open box. You have all your applications right here that you can access. But first of all, let's run over and take a look at their website. Okay, their website is loaded up inside of Firefox. And this is mayboxlinux.org if you want to go take a look at this distribution. It just basically states that it's fast, lightweight, and functional Linux desktop. It's a rolling release. It's based on Manjaro, and it's got the open box window manager. It does say right here, lightweight and fast, and it is. Fresh software, quick access to the latest packages available, and then stable. Maybox is built on top of Manjaro stable branch, powered by LTS kernel, featuring 100% complete and stable open box window manager. And then down here, you get their news, and then, of course, their YouTube, Odyssey, Facebook, Mastodon, and then ways you can go up top here and have the manual for it. There's a forum. Should you have any problems, just click on forum. And when the forum loads up, you just go in here look and see if you can find your problem and you can even sign up if you want or log in if you've already got an account or search to find a specific topic that you need help with so let's go back to their main page and then you have the blog the repository and then of course home news user guide about donate if you like what they're doing and you want to back them click on donate go over throw them a couple bucks these developers don't get paid they just get donations so if you like the operating system and you like what you see go over there and donate help them out a little bit so let's close out of this so if we come up top here and we click on that it could basically gives you everything that you got. You can install Maybox. You've got Terminal. You've got the browser we just looked at. Let's open up the file manager. Okay, and this is PC Man File Manager. It's a lightweight file manager. You're using libfm version 1.3.2. So that's pretty nice. Let's move that up here. And you basically have your usual suspects over here. Home folder, trash, file system, applications, devices, network, and your applications, accessories, graphics, internet, office, other, preference, programming, sound, video, and system tools. So let's close out a file manager. Then you have add and remove software. If you want to give Maybox a try, the first thing you need to do before you start installing anything is you want to go over here and go to installed. Those right there, you would list everything that's installed. And then of course, if you have any updates that are due, it would run a quick check and load up like here, menu, side panels, and utilities for Maybox. There is an update for that. So you'd want to install that. But first, before you do anything, go to preferences. And this is very important. This is important whether you're running Maybox, Manjaro of any flavor. What you want to do is you want to come in here and go to third party. You want to enable AUR support, the Arch user repository. Click that to on. It'll go over and that's on. I'm going to turn it off because I'm in a virtual box. But once you've enabled that and turned it on, go back to general and then scroll down here. You'll see official repositories. Use mirrors from. It'll say worldwide. You want to click this refresh mirrors button. What that'll do is it'll take anywhere from one to five minutes and it will refresh all the repositories and mirrors so that you have the most update locations to get your downloads as quick as possible. And then once that's done, you can close out of this and you can start installing updates and then searching around and finding software that you want to install. So we shall close out of that. 
back up top. You got Maybox Config, which has your Maybox Control Center. Let's take a look at that. And when the Control Center opens up, you've got software, auto start, look and feel, tint to panel, conky, menu panels, compositors, themes. We've already looked at an auto start. If you've got programs that are automatically starting when you start the PC up and you want to shut those off, you can go in there and disable those here. Look and feel, customize look and feel, wallpaper. Let's check out wallpapers. So they got a pretty good selection of wallpapers here. I'm just going to click on a different one just to apply it and see what kind of change it makes. Boy, that really brightens things up. We'll go ahead and leave that. Tint to panel. You can choose different tints if you want to change the tints over here on your panels. And then your conky, you can choose if you want to reload. You've got full control of both of these. And what I like about over here is it gives you keyboard shortcuts to things that'll get you like file manager, super key and F. If you hit super key and F, it'll open up the file manager for you. So it gives you the shortcuts right there on the screen. So until you get them down pat and you know exactly what you want to do, you've got control of it. You've got a cheat sheet right here. Compositor, you can edit the config file here restart, toggle, and then themes. Maybox theme consists of wallpaper, the GTK open box window decoration, select the tent, select the conkeys, and you can change those up all right here in the configuration control center. All right, down to accessories, you've got clip it, file manager, F search, calculator, light DM, nitrogen, Sakura, show desktop, terminal, terminal emulator, development, you got Genie, integrated development environment, you got graphics, you got flame shot, view noir, multimedia, you got audacious, MPB, pulse audio, GT, V4L2, volume I Icon, internet, Firefox, hex chat, mail reader, web browser, office, you got QPDF view, settings, add and remove software, Bluetooth adapters, your general settings that you're going to have on any Linux system, and then your system, CPUX, file manager, install Maybox, HTOP. Light DM, key bindings. You can go in there and change key bindings for whatever you want to, whether it be applications or system functions. Screenshot, lock screen, and then exit. And then on the panel up here, you have show desktop, file manager, terminal, web browser, install Maybox, and hex chat on the terminal. Just a quick look at it with the open box. I love the way open box works. It's very intuitive. It's very quick. It makes moving around your operating system and your desktop really easy. It's a very good looking operating system. It's very light, of course. If you go up here, we're still running at 277 megabytes of the 2 gig. You're hardly using any resources, and it's quite functional. If you've never heard of Maybox before, run over to their website, download it, throw it onto a USB, put it in a virtual box, play around with it for a little while. I think you'll really like it, especially if you're somebody that likes a lightweight desktop environment. Before you go, do me a favor, like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.